Welcome to the Indoor Garden. Up until now, all of our guests have been women. So today, it's the men's turn to show off their plants. And I have found a few good men who do appreciate plants. So let's get started. So Jerry, what is this? Well, this is a jade plant that I brought from home, and it's got a little aloe thrown in. It's got a bunch of other stuff here. I'm not even sure what it is. And, uh, okay, well, let me look at this again here. Now, we've got some jade, mm -hmm. like you said, and there's a little bit of aloe vera, and it looks like we have some homegrown grass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I All hope right. it's not that. Okay. Um, so what do you want to do today with these plants? Did you have some questions about them, or did you want me to do something, or what do you need? Well, I'd like to know a little bit about the care of it and um, why it's leaning over so much. Uh, in, in this direction. This is leaning in this direction. It's just leaning all different directions. So I'm kind of wondering how, if I can take better care of it somehow. And I notice it has a couple, some white spots on the leaves here. I don't know if that's an indication of a problem or... All right. Um, I would say the, the white spots on here looks like residue from something it was sprayed with at some point in time. I wouldn't worry oh, about it okay. too much. Okay. Uh, you can always clean off the leaves with some ivory soap and water if, if you want to. Okay. And um, also, why it's leaning like this, I suspect, is because it's not getting quite enough light to hold itself up and it's actually rather top heavy. What I would do if I were you is put it outside in the shade. It's really nice and bright out there for the summer. And okay. then bring it in before the frost and put it back in your window and pretty soon the leaves will fall off and it'll get some direct sun again. Okay. But I think that will give it more sufficient light. Can, can I leave it out in the rain and thunderstorms and things sure. like that? Sure. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Good. Yeah, it's highly unlikely that it'll get overwatered outside, even if it rains a lot, as long as you have it in a well-drained pot. Okay. Um, so... The other thing you could do is to pinch it back, and maybe we'll do that in a little bit, like right about here, and then that'll get it to stand more upright, and then you can root this piece also and add it to the plant. You can either do it right away, just stick it right back in the soil, or root it in water first, oh, okay. whatever you'd like to do. But I really would recommend, this pot is just way too big for this plant, and, and you really can't appreciate its beauty in this size, and, and this grass is, Really not a house plant. <laughs> I, I was wondering about that. I don't think it's very attractive. And no. It was given to me as a gift, so, so I wasn't sure what to do with it. So. Okay. So why don't we just separate these, and we'll put, we'll put the little aloe vera here in its own pot. We'll put the jade in its own pot, and then we'll just get rid of the grass. Okay, and great. And then take the pot home. Great. Okay. Well, I have a couple pots right down here I'll get for you. Now, this one actually does not have drainage in it, but it's shallow, and I think that the jade, you know, will live in it quite nicely, and not only that, it'll, be, it'll look good in there, but then I wouldn't put this outside for the summer. I would put it in a window that gets direct sun most of the year. So okay. can you do that? Sure. I, I can find a window in my house. Okay. I think. Great. So I'll get started repotting it for you. Okay. Here. Great. So tell me, where did you get this plant anyway? Well, a friend of mine was leaving the country. He was going to Czechoslovakia for, for two years, and he had a little going away party, and he gave it to me. Oh, at the party? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Was he giving plants away as party favors? Yeah, yes, he was. He gave away <laughs> a lot of them that night, and I can't wait to write him and tell him that his plant was on TV. <laughs> That's great. That's mm -hmm. a good way to remember somebody. Mm -hmm. He'll be excited. Okay, this is separating really easily because there isn't that much of a root system. Okay. Since the pot was so big, so we'll get put the grass over here. I'll, I'll be glad to get rid of that. Okay. And then I'm going to, I can tell I'm going to need to add a little bit of potting soil on the bottom here. Now this soil I've got here has quite a bit of sand in it. And with a succulent plant like the jade, and what I mean by that, basically what succulent means is that it holds in water. You know, cactus kind or like succulents, cactus. for mm -hmm. example, right? Mm -hmm. I recommend a little more sandy soil because it, it drains a little better, dries out a little bit faster. So that's what we'll use. Okay. So do you, how many other plants do you have in your home? Oh, I have about six or seven. I have a Dreisena, I have a uh, Ficus, uh, and I have a, uh, a Christmas cactus, I guess is what you call it. Uh-huh. 
they, they all seem pretty happy. The Dreisena, I think, is getting too much sun, so I need to, I keep on moving it further and further away from the window. Oh, I see. What's it doing that makes you think it's getting the, too the, much the sun? The leaves are sort of turning yellow, yellowish on it. Uh-huh. From the bottom? The bottom of your leaves turning yellow? Right, and then at the tips of the leaves. Oh, yellow. okay. And is it happening a lot, or just like a couple? Just, just a couple leaves, just a couple. Every once in a while? It's a pretty continual problem. It's pretty, pretty consistent. Is it like a few a month, or like 10 or 12 a month, would you say? Just Did a couple of months. It's, it's the same leaves that seem, seem to do it every month. Uh, and I, I'm having trouble correcting it. Mm-hmm. Well, it doesn't sound like too big of a problem, but I bet it's not the light. It may be that you're watering it just a little bit much. Oh, okay. That could be. That would be my most likely. What I would suspect first, what you want to do is stick your finger down in the soil with the Dracaena as far down as you can feel. It should feel nice and dry. So check that next time. Okay. Because I suspect that's not how you were watering it before. No, it sounds like I may be overwatering it now that, now that you mention it. <clears throat> okay. So now, are you aware of the difference that the house plants make in your house as far as cleaning the air for you? You know, I've heard that they, they filter out things like benzene and formaldehyde and uh, all sorts of That's true. Na nasty mm -hmm. things. And, you know, the way they're building houses these days, they're sealed up tight for energy efficiency. I think it's important to have plants in your house. And Absolutely. For, for health reasons. <laughs> okay. That's looking good. Yes, it's looking much better here, and in fact, I still have a piece of grass on it. But now I'm going to ask you if it's okay if I pinch it back sure. just a little bit, because this is still top-heavy. And if, also, if you break off on a jade, if you break off one of its leaves like this, as you can see, even this will root. Oh. It'll start getting oh. little roots out of the end there, and you, so you can stick that right back in the soil, and you can pinch this back as much as you want. I'm going to take off a couple inches here, just about this much, and I'm going to remove the bottom two leaves because it'll give, it'll have more stem that's actually underneath the soil, so more a chance of roots, you know, coming out of it. So mm -hmm. we'll just stick that right in there, and that's really all you have to do. They generally will root that easily. That looks nice. So. We'll just clean this up here, and as you can see, this looks much prettier in here than it did in there. You can even, you can tell it's a, a, a plant. <laughs> <laughs> That's very nice. Now, we also have the little aloe vera here to tend to, and I think what I'm going to do is, do you have a little pot at home? Do you have any pots sitting around? Uh, yes, I do. I have a whole stack of them in my backyard. Do you like, like something maybe even smaller than this? Matter of fact, I do. Great, because this is such a tiny little plant, this little aloe vera. I would just put it in a tiny little pot. Plants actually grow better if they're in a pot that's not too big for them. If you put them in a pot that's too big for them, it seems like they spend all their time making roots. So if you'll take this home, and I'll wrap it up for you and put it in a little pot, put it in some sun, it'll do great. Okay, wonderful. Well, thanks a lot, Jerry, for showing me your plants, and I hope these do really well for you. Thank you, Liz. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Well, Jim, I really had to do that. Okay. I you hope know we're best. still friends. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know best. That's why I brought this plant to you today. <laughs> well, it does need a little attention. And really, this was just falling and flopping all over the place. But I did want you to know that I cut it back only to this point. And what will probably happen is that it will send out new leaves on either side. So it'll fill back out again. And then you can take this piece that I cut off. And in fact, I'll cut it back for you right now, just a little bit. Just cut it about to here and, and take off a couple of the lower leaves so that the stalk has plenty of room for the roots to come out on and just stick it in a pot of potting soil. Great. Sure. Thanks. Okay, good. However, you do have a couple other problems with this plant. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> now, where did you get this plant? Well, I know you normally bring in plants from homes. I thought I'd bring in one from my office. 
Looks like I got a little bit of the karma going around my office, and that's why, well, anyway. Actually, what I think happened is that uh, the person that used to have this plant before me, I think after their morning coffee and after lunch when they weren't quite finished with their soda, that's what they used to water the plant with, and that's why it got all these brown spots on it. Am I anywhere close to correct? Well, something like that. Actually, I think it's been overwatered. Mm. And what you wanted, and the reason I say that is because it does have all these brown spots which look like a fungal disease. A fungal disease? Mm -hmm. mm. However, it's not fatal, or at least it doesn't have to be fatal. But what I would do, this is what I would do, is first if you can take it to a janitor's closet or maybe at home while you still have it out, put it in your backyard before you take it to the office, okay. just flush the soil with water. Just let it really like five or six gallons of water just flush right through it. And that'll get rid of a lot of the built up salts and even that which causes the fungus oh, from okay. it. And then put it back together and trim up these leaves get rid of the brown spots and I like to trim them to shape I just think it looks nicer if you've got a half a leaf that looks bad go ahead and take off the whole thing but um, go ahead and get rid of a lot of this brown and then I want you for the next few weeks to notice is it getting brown again and if it is you'll have to go out and get a fungicide but the other thing is watch your watering don't overwater it and and in this particular case this is a dracaena warnecki they do like to dry out quite a bit they should be dry about as far down as you can feel in the soil okay. and then give it a good soak up to a half a gallon but let it dry out again before you water it and that'll take I would say anywhere from 10 days to two or three weeks, depending on the light you have it in. Oh, okay, great. And speaking of light, if you could give it a little more light while it's recovering, where is it now? Uh, it's kind of in an inner office. I know it should be near, near a window, I guess, right? They generally can tolerate low light, but the higher light will help them to recover better. Okay, great. Yeah, I see there's some new leaf and new growth. There is, there's some very new growth, very new growth, very nice new growth. <laughs> and here it is, yeah, this is fine, and I really think, you know, there's a lot of potential here. Well, great. Thanks, Liz. If I need to use a fungicide, I'll come back next time. Okay, and I'll tell you where to go to get some. Well, great. <laughs> Thanks. Why, Mark, you've brought me one of your spider plants. Yes, I have, Liz. Uh, I think it's in need of a little help here. Well, let me look at it here. Yes, it does look like it could use some attention. I see that the bottom has actually busted right off of here because you have all these roots growing down at the bottom. Can you see that? Yes, I can. I'm can a little embarrassed that? about the situation. <laughs> That's why I'm here. <laughs> well, that's okay. We'll uh, make sure your plant is back on the right path by the time you leave here. Now, I think that the reason it was doing this is it was trying to get water out of this bowl. Mm -hmm. And probably the reason is because you haven't been watering it quite as much as you could. Now, how often do you water this plant? I water it once a week. You do, know how, do you know about how much water you put on it when you water it? I just water it uh, as much as I feel like it, really. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like to cover it, you know, so that there's a layer in there. And uh, actually, I used to check to see that water rolled into the bottom, but that was when it started to have the problem with the roots. I, I didn't uh, pay too close attention to the base anymore. Oh, I see. So I would just pour water in there and figure whatever it was getting was better than nothing. <laughs> All right. Now, what kind of light are you keeping this in? It's in a window on a, uh, a western exposure. Okay, so it gets some afternoon sun? I think so, yes. Okay, that's quite bright light, actually. But it looks to me like, can you see, like, today how, how dry the soil is? Just feel, even just on the top, it's, like, really bone dry. And if you stick your finger down in there, in fact, you can barely stick your finger down in there yes, it is because there's dry. so many roots. Spider plants do tend to have quite a root system, and I think this particular plant has grown an extra large root system in comparison to its foliage because it hasn't gotten quite enough water. Oh. Yes, yeah, spider plants have roots that are called rhizomes, and they tend to hold in water. So I think that what your plant's been trying to do, actually, is to keep itself better watered. So I was going to ask you if from now on, you can maybe check it twice a week. 
uh, and see if, if it's dry, you know, about a half an inch down, if you can get down in there. And then, th then you'll know. Do you think you can do that? Yeah, I promise to take better care of it. Okay. <laughs> well, in the meantime, what we're going to do for you today is we're going to repot it. We'll get rid of these excess roots because they really aren't doing much good at all down there anymore. And I'll take off this wire hanger. Yeah, and while I'll... I'm doing that, you can tell me, where did you get this plant in the first place? Well, about, uh, someone gave it to me as a present about four years ago, right about when I was married. And uh, when I separated from my wife, I got to keep it in the settlement. Oh, so this is one of your custody plants, That's huh? right. <laughs> okay. All right, now the first thing I'm going to do is cut off these roots, and I'm going to use a pruner. You could also use a knife, but you need something fairly heavy duty to get rid of these. And believe me, it's not going to hurt the plant Whoa. at all to get rid of these. See how twisted they are around here? Wow. The poor little guy. <laughs> Now, do you ever fertilize this plant? No. Not ever? Nope. Do you have any other plants at home? Yes, I have a few. Uh -huh. Now, do you fertilize any of them? No, no. Because one thing, once this gets used to having a little more water, giving it some fertilizer will really, you know, get it to take off. So I would recommend it, and you can use it on all your other house plants. Great. But I think you'll see a big change in this if you water it a little more often and perhaps a little heavier too. Well now that I've gotten it out of the pot, one of the uh, spiders has come off. It's so brittle here that you know what I would do? If I were you, I was going to repot it. I was going to put it in another pot, but I don't think that's going to work here. I think what we're going to have to do is sort of start back at the beginning. Okay. So you can now consider yourself, you have a baby spider plant here, and what you want to do is put it in some water. And can you see here out of, where there's just like a little nub coming out? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. That'll be a root. Oh. And these root really well you know, in water. Oh, I can tell. <laughs> and listen, so what I would do is also take this one off here, and it'll probably just break right off really gently, and it's not. So, well, we can do one of two things. Now, if you want to, we can repot this one, since this one seems to be pretty sturdy, or we can take it off and you can root them both together and pot them up when they have a little more roots on their own. So what would you like to do? I think since this guy's doing pretty well, let's repot him. You wanna go ahead? Okay. Yeah. All right, then that's what we'll do. So we'll take off this, as much of the excess here. Again, I'm gonna have to get out my pruners and get rid of that old plant on there. Take off the brown foliage and then peel off as much excess soil as I can get. But as you can see, there really isn't much on here. This is really mostly just a root ball. And that is what spider plants do. They have huge root systems. <laughs> and this one is certainly proof. Okay, so what we'll do is put it back in the pot and you can have two spider plants. You have a new one to start and we'll get this one back on the right track. All right. So when I repot plants, first I set them in the pot and I can see that this, you want to leave about a half an inch or so from the top of the lip down to where your soil line starts so that when you water the plant, it doesn't all just fall right over. So this one is already just about at that point. So I'm just going to put a little bit of soil on the very bottom right here. There you go. Now what do your other plants look like that you've got at home? Are they in pretty good shape? Or are you going to bring them to me another time? Well, probably, I'm sure that uh, they probably all could use a little uh, maintenance. <laughs> but uh, I, you know, my feeling is they're doing pretty well. At least you know, there's, they have uh, green leaves and you know, the leaves aren't dying. And I, you know, I assume that to be a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> that is a pretty good sign. That is. This isn't going to take very much soil either. We just want to poke it down around the edges here so that it waters nice and evenly. And then we'll give it a good soak and it should be back on track. I also was curious. 
Are, are you really aware of, um, you know, like the difference plants make in your environment? Did you know they keep the air clean for you? Oh, yeah. I know that they produce uh, oxygen during the day. They take an oxygen, I mean, di carbon dioxide and bring out uh, and, and let, let go oxygen. And they're very important in our environment. I certainly know the importance of the rainforests in our environment. Mm -hmm. Now, did you know your house plants not only take in any carbon dioxide, but they also filter out a lot of toxins that could be naturally present? Actually, I was, I was not aware of that. You didn't know that. And did you know the spider plant's one of the best ones? Oh, really? At it. Yep, the spider plant's one of the... Right. Top air cleaners well, I'm gonna have in to the plant world. <laughs> I'm going to have to take much better care of uh, Spidey here. I think so. Okay, well, I'll just water it for you. And be sure you uh, watch its watering, and uh, it'll grow out nice and full for you if you keep it in the same place where you have it. And just notice that it needs water a little more often and maybe a little more thoroughly than you've done before. So you're saying that if I maintain its water supply, you know, adequately, that that root problem will not reappear? Right. It wasn't. I always thought it was just a question. It just needed to be re repotted because it was just too big for the pot. But actually, that was because of my neglect. Huh? But let me just, does it look too big for the pot? No, it doesn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> Even double the size the way it was before, it really wasn't. Well, Mark, I really appreciate you bringing on your spider plant. And I know other people are underwaters out there, too. <laughs> Mark's a great friend of mine. He has been for years, and I really appreciate you coming on the show. Well, I thank you for <laughs> giving my plant new life. Well, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>
Uh, so now do you keep this one else outside right now right, also? Also stays outside on the porch. But it can also come inside mm -hmm. in the fall. Now how did you pick these two plants? Um, I just like the color of the flowers and I um, thought the variegation on this one was interesting. So uh, They really are very nice. So Woody, how long have you been growing plants on your own at home? For quite a while. Um, my, my grandmother got me started on plants back when I was uh, probably like 12 years old and uh, I picked the interest up from her. Uh, what did she start you out with? Do you remember? Oh, probably some African violet leaves that I took home to root or uh -huh. uh, just begonia cuttings, things like that. Oh, that's great. And how old were you now? You, it's, it's been a few years <laughs> anyway since you started right. this. Huh? <laughs> Now, why did you pick these? I know you have several great looking plants at home, so why did you pick the begonias to bring into us today? Um, I just thought they were a little unusual. Um, I like the color, um, so. They are truly showy. Good for television, huh? <laughs> Well, it's clear you are a plant lover, and that's really what I wanted to do today is have men on who really appreciate plants, and I know you are one of them, and I appreciate you being here. So would you tell us once again the names of the plants you brought in? Sure. Um, these are Rex begonias, um, just different colors, greens and purples and pinks, and then these are angel wing begonias. Um, this is Begonia richmondensis, and uh, this is Lois Burke. Well, they are truly lovely, and you should be proud of yourself. You did a great job with these. So thanks thank again. Hey, thank you. I want to thank all the men who are on the show today, because, of course, men appreciate plants, too. See you next time.